Hey everybody, welcome to this edition of Cooking with Big Dre. Today I'm going to be making crab stuffed shells. It's going to be a great recipe, and this is the first time doing this, just like a lot of the other recipes that I've done. And um, it's going to be something, so stick around. You know what you're doing. You're cooking with Big Dre. Okay, everybody, these are the simple ingredients that we're going to need for this recipe. And it's going to be very, very easy to do. Now, what we need are Obey seasoning or whatever seasoning of your choice that you would like to use. Cream cheese. Make sure the cream cheese is at room temperature before you um, use it. Mozzarella cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. You could use, again, whatever type of cheese you decide that you want to use in your recipe. The crab meat, I'm using canned canned uh, claw meat, and um, you can get this from Walmart, that's where I got that from, and um, they have different varieties of crab meat at Walmart, so you could use whatever choice of uh, crab meat that you would like, and of course, the shells that we're going to be stuffing. Okay, I have a pot of water going, and I just seasoned it with a little bit of salt, and um, that's basically it. I don't want to put any oil or anything in there, but uh, just the salt. And um, you can also use chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, whatever type of um, liquid that you would like. And um, we're going to be adding the shells right to that. Okay, and uh, we're going to let those boil. And um, as those are going, we're going to prepare the rest of the ingredients. Okay, here's what your crab meat looks like um, out of the can. Now, um, what I like to do is I'd like to put it into a separate bowl as I take it out of the can to make sure that there's, there's no shells in there because um, some packing uh, factories or uh, manufacturers, they uh, do tend to have a little bit of shells in, in the uh, packaging. So make sure you check for that. Uh, it's not going to be a whole lot of them, but, you know, it's just in case you don't want to bite into one of your shells and um, then uh, uh, get a, uh, a crab claw shell um, in there. That is not good. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I have the uh, cream cheese that's been um, sitting at room temperature for a while. And um, I did have a uh, red bell pepper on hand. I had a little piece of it left, so um, I cut that up and I put that in there. That's going to add a little bit of color to it and everything. So I'm going to add my crab meat to that, and I put my Obey seasoning already in there. Um, you know, you could uh, flavor it to, uh, you know, the extent that you would like for it to be flavored. Next, I'm going to put uh, some of my cheese in there. And here's where we get in there and we get it all mixed up and incorporated and everything. So, I'm going to get this all mixed up and then uh, I'm going to be right back. Okay, again, there's the consistency of the uh, crab dip or a uh, mixture. And then um, there are our finished shells. Now what I did was I tossed the shells in some Obey seasoning and a little bit of olive oil just to give them a nice coat on the outside. So now, okay, there we have our complete stuffed shells. I put probably like a uh, tablespoon in each shell and um, you know, I spread it out, and then what I had left, I made you know, just divvied it up between the uh, other shells, and uh, just try to eat, make them equally filled. So at this stage, um, now what we're gonna do is just sprinkle our cheese right on top. No, I'm sorry. One more thing that you can do is you could sprinkle a little more obey on top. It all depends on, uh, you know, your tasting that you want your obey. So, you know, I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit more on top here. It's not coming out the way that I want it to because I'm trying to do this with one hand. <laughs> but it is, it's, it's getting them coated a little bit there. All right, that might be a little bit better there. Here we go. All right, now um, just sprinkle the rest of your cheese right on top. Oh, 
And you can put as much cheese on there as you want. Okay. All right, I'm gonna finish this up. And um, I got the oven preheated to about uh, 400 degrees. Um, basically, all you're doing really is just heating everything through and melting down your cheese. So, uh, you know, basically that's what you're doing at this point right now. And uh, just making everything, uh, you know, nice and cheesy and just uh, delicious. <laughs> Just so delicious. Okay, I'm gonna finish that up and then uh, we're gonna pop this in the oven. All right, there you have it. Crab, crab stuffed shells. Oh yes, I'm ready to dig in. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get on these. Oh my God, look at that. That looks so good. Look at that cheese oozing out cheese on top this is gonna be something all right next we're gonna plate it up and then we're gonna eat you know what you're doing you're cooking with big dre